Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Shepherd Fairy's Hope poster. And you'll see in Photopia I've already opened a photograph of myself and the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the background. So I'm going to select the magic wand tool, select the background and then press delete and that's going to get rid of the background. I'm just going to deselect and then I'm going to image vectorize bitmap and you'll be met with this screen. Uh, please be patient because I have shortened the amount of time this has taken by editing the video. Um, but you want to click five layers and you want to make sure you click the segmentize box. Okay and as I say I've shortened this down. It took a long time to do this but eventually you'll get something that looks like this. Click OK and it will take you back to this with loads of layers. So you want to right click on the top and flatten image. So it all goes down into one layer. Okay. You then want to use the magic wand tool again. I'm turning the tolerance right down to five and I'm clicking the background again and deleting that. So the background's gone again. Okay. I then want to uncheck the contiguous box and use the magic wand to mask off the lightest colour. Unchecking the contiguous box means that it masks off all of that same colour on the piece. Okay, and these are the colours you're going to need with the hex codes in them. So you might want to take a photo or a screenshot of this particular screen. And I'm the first colour I'm going to use is this beige colour. So I'm typing in that code in this box here in the color picker and then I get that color ready to use. I'm then going to go to the paint bucket and make sure contiguous is unchecked on that too and when I click in that mask it, all of those sections get colored the color that I want. Okay. I'm then going to mask off not the next darkest color but the darkest color beyond that Okay, and that is going to be this kind of light blue colour here. So again, I'm going to type in that code into this box, 4F919F, click OK, and then go back to my original picture and use the paint bucket on that particular section. OK. I'm then going to mask off the next darkest section and that's going to be my red section. So I need the code for that. Open up the color picker. Type in E7000A. Click OK. And use the paint bucket to fill that area too. OK. And then lastly, I'm going to grab the magic wand and mask off those really dark areas. Go back to this screen and the color picker. And I want to move it so I can see that code. 01253D. Click OK. And that's my color. Go back to the original image and fill that with the paint bucket. Okay, we're almost there. Right, now I'm getting the magic wand. So I want to mask off that one color I didn't do. And I'm gonna control C to copy it and control V to paste it so that it becomes its own layer. Okay, and I'm gonna make the layer underneath invisible so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to firstly change the color picker, both of them, the first one to beige and the one underneath to the kind of light blue color. So I've got both of those in those boxes. I'm then going to paint bucket the beige color into that mask. And then I'm going to go to filters, filter gallery. And then I scroll down to the sketch section and I choose half tone pattern. 
And when I get there, I want to make sure that the size is one and the contrast is 50 and that I have selected lines from the drop down box. OK, click OK. And that has got the lined pattern for that section. So when I bring back the rest, I'm left with a pretty good version of what's becoming the Hope poster. OK, I'm going to right click on the top and merge down to merge the two layers together and now we're going to worry about our background okay firstly i'm just going to use the rectangle select to grab the whole image and then use the arrow tool to drag the image up so my head touches the top of the canvas i'm then going to make a new layer and i'm going to drag that layer down and grab the rectangular mask tool and just mask off from the top of my head over the whole of the right hand side. I'm then going to choose that nice light blue colour that we've already used. Go to the paint bucket and I'm going to fill that mask. Okay, I'm then going to deselect and then eyedropper the red area to get the red in my colour picker. And then grab the paint bucket and fill the rest of the bottom layer. Okay, that's my background sorted. And then I'm gonna right click on the top layer, go to flatten image and flatten the whole thing down, which is then gonna allow me to grab the arrow tool and just shrink, oh, I've got to unlock the layer. And then I'm gonna shrink this image, holding shift so it doesn't change shape, okay? so that I create a border for myself. Okay, so it gently does it. Once I've done that, I just need a little nudge with the arrow keys. But once you're happy, you can then go down and make a new layer, drag that layer down below, and grab the nice beige color and paint bucket in that beige on that back layer. And then we've got one last thing to do, and that is to make a new layer, but bring that to the top this time. And we're gonna go to the shapes, and we're gonna draw where our word is going to be. Okay, making sure that we keep that border in. Now at the moment my shape is red, I don't need that, I want it to be the same dark blue so I click on the dark blue, click OK, and then I'm going to do the border of the shape the same colour. So again, colour picker, choose that dark blue, click OK. OK, and then I go to the T to make my text, draw my text box in. And it's up to you what four letter word you put in. Make sure you've chosen that same light blue and then type in. In this instance, I chose the word woke, and then I click the arrow tool to then be able to resize it to the shape that I want. I'm just going to bring up the top and the left. And that is my Shepherd Fairy style poster done and dusted. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.